Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to enable Web Inspector in Safari on iPhone and iPad. You can use Safari's web developer tools to study problematic websites. If you run into a bug or another issue with a website or Safari mobile, you can use the Web Inspector tool to investigate. Let me show you how to use the Safari console for iPhone or iPad to debug errors with the help of your Mac computer. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, load the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. After that, scroll down to find Safari and select it. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom and choose Advanced. And finally, you have to turn on the toggle located right next to Web Inspector. To use the Web Inspector, you need to connect your iOS device to your Mac to enable the Develop menu. To do so, launch Safari on your Mac and then click on the Safari menu that is located at the top left corner of the screen and choose Preferences. Then select the Advanced tab. And finally, you have to check the box located to the left of Show Develop menu in Menu Bar. From the Safari menu bar, select Develop and choose the name of your attached iOS device. Then select the URL that appears under Safari to open the debug console for the site. After you connect your device, use your Mac to inspect the website you want to debug and have it open in the Safari mobile browser. It's worth pointing out that web developers use Web Inspector to modify, debug, and optimize websites on Macs and iOS devices. With Web Inspector open, developers can inspect the resources on a web page. The Web Inspector window contains editable HTML and notes regarding the styles and layers of the web page in a separate panel. Before iOS 6, the iPhone Safari web browser had a built-in debug console that developers used to find web page defects. However, the recent versions of iOS use Web Inspector instead. With Safari 9 and OS X Mavericks, Apple introduced responsive design mode in Web Inspector so developers can now use this built-in simulator to preview how web pages scale to different screen sizes, resolutions, and orientations. That's pretty much it. So that's how you can enable and use Web Inspector in Safari on your iOS or iPad OS device. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.